call for help from two lost walkers sees the team searching the top of kinder scout in some really poor conditions however when we get there things don't turn out to be as straightforward as we'd first expected The team received a call for help from two lost walkers on the top of Kinder Scout. Fortunately for them, it was our Wednesday training evening, so we were all at base and ready to deploy. The red line shows you the route that our Kinder One party took to get there, and hopefully it should give you an idea of how difficult it is to navigate in these kind of conditions. Ollie, our team doctor, was leading Kinder 1 round the southern edge path, with Kinder 2 not too far behind them. We've just heard that uh, there's a, a lost, benighted couple of walkers up here, so Kinder Man Rescue Team have been called out. I'm here with Kinder 1, you can see the lights just behind me. And we're uh, trying to walk up to Crudden Tower, we're on the southern edge path, just at no stool at the moment. As the team turned off the edge path and into the plateau, the ground becomes a lot more difficult underfoot and it becomes a lot harder to navigate. Finally we arrived at the casualties location and spotted them just up ahead in the mist. I think they were pretty pleased to see us appear out of the dark. We're now on the top of the hill. We've uh, yeah, that we've uh, uh, found our casualties. We've got two guys who've been out walking since about 11 o'clock this morning, so they've been out probably a good 10 hours. They're a bit cold. They're a bit hungry. We've given them some food. We're warming them up in our tent, which you can see behind us. Uh, we've got lights in the distance of the second hill party who are hopefully going to be able to help us walk in them off the hill soon. So um, we're going to just let them finish with some warm drinks and food, get dry, get warm, and then we'll start making moves to uh, get them down to our base in Haven. Just as we start to walk these casualties back to the Land Rover, we receive another call to say that there are two more people in need of help. They're roughly in the same kind of area, but lost in the dark as well. So we divert one of our parties out to go and get those guys, while the second one brings their first original casualties back. It turns out they're not very far away from the original position, so it doesn't take long to get them and start bringing them back as well.
Now that we've found them, it's a long walk back for all four casualties. Fortunately, we can get our vehicles up to Edo Cross, which is a good way up the hill. Um, we then get them in the vehicles, get the heating on, start to warm them up a bit, and we can then drive them back down to our base. Back at base, it's a lot warmer, we can get some hot drinks into them and some food, and hopefully get them warmed up and back to normal. It's just before midnight and we're uh, all back at base. The casualties are in the base behind me nice and warm. Um, it's been an interesting evening. It started off as a training exercise, which we had to abandon for the two uh, jobs. It's been a really uh, uh, good exercise. We've had all sorts of weather. It's currently raining, as you might be able to tell, but we've had snow, we've had wind, we've had mud. It's been very dark. But fundamentally, we've got four people in our base drinking tea in the warm who previously were lost in the dark in really horrible conditions up there. Uh, you can never take April for granted um, and it's uh, really bad conditions up there tonight. Uh, so I think we've uh, thankfully done a, a good job and uh, we can hopefully get these guys back to their cars and get them on their way back home.